Shut up. I didn't have eight and I ran out of those too. So take all of that. Do that. Day two. I found an eight and another O. I'm a moron. Uh, as I found that the uh, scored scrap panel as I use as a base for my machine uh, bends a little. Uh, I had to print two more legs to support it better.
Apologies for not filming every step of the building process, but that way I wouldn't get anything done. This month at least. Yeah, let's have a look at the back and the interior. I hope I've got the audio channels right. Here's our Aztec sound card and trade and graphics card. I've made a reset switch out of a scrap PCB and uh, button, button salvaged from some old TV remote or something. And for the extremely cheap feeling, as well as due to my laziness, I've made the last section of the back wall out of cardboard. Right then. And here it is, my very own 386 desktop. It fits nicely on my little desk. And its small footprint enables me to leave ample space for the fourth setup in here. Let's power it up. I still have a few issues to investigate, like uh, it runs with no cache uh, when you power it up from cold, but uh, uh, it runs the things I wanted to run just fine. I may do some proper benchmarking when I sort all the settings out. Run. Right. So I've got Windows 3.11. I haven't uh, got much in date just yet. Oh, I forgot to make a short shortcut for Ski Free. So let's run it from hard drive from through the file manager. Yeah, so I've got a. Uh, 407 megabytes hard drive as the main disk and I've got the one gigabyte compact flash card as an extra storage and to easily transfer files from newer machines. Yeah, that's my <laughs> SSD drive <laughs> in a 386 machine. Uh, right, 
We were going to run... That! Yeah, that's the classic little Windows 3.1 game. Let's crash into something. Right. Okay, enough of that. Close. When you restart it after a while, it doesn't scream about cache anymore. It's not fully stable that way, but uh, it seems to run fine on the DOS. Thank you. 